Hey guys, it's Oz, and this is part two in my beginner's guide to planetary interaction. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and talk about what ships to actually uh, use for PI. Uh, what ships I use, what ships you should use, and what ships you should just stay away from. Um, me personally, I use the Prowler, which is the Mimitar Blockade Runner. Uh, it's a T2 Industrial. Um, I like it, it's very agile and uh, you can cloak which is very very good uh, I fit mine out for max agility you see here I have uh, two nanos in the low and uh, low friction nozzle joints up in the rig slots so I like it just in case you run into a gate camp or something you can you have the option to burn back the gate or try to get out of the bubble um, it has a pretty you know decent sized cargo hold for uh, PI too I mean I have four command centers in here so PI commodities aren't that big. There's nothing really to if you're worried about that. It's um, they're they're not that big. So uh, blockade runners gets my vote. That is the number one place for uh, PI N00 at least. If you're doing it in high sec, um, I'm sure you can just use any industrial ship in that case. Low sec too. I would use a blockade runner for low sec. Um, with the blockade runners you can you're basically cloaked right up until the point that you're actually interacting with the poco which is right down there um, the poco player owned customs office that's how you get your commodities off the planet and to the planet if you're transferring them um, I do know there's actually you can launch launch them directly off the planet into cans I believe uh, I don't know if you can still do that or not uh, I've never done that I just it's I find it a, a very inefficient way um, I just use the poco and scoop everything up that way uh, there's also uh, I know there's the prime a here I have which was a special ship just for PI um, I know you can still find them on contracts and even on the market here it says um, they're all right their cargo they they have special holds just for PI and command centers um, you know the command center hole is 2000 m3 and then the planetary commodity is only 1000 so I would stay away from that that's a target you know to me if that's I'm flying around in high second that thing that's a target um, stay the heck away from that guy some of the other something else to stay away from is uh, the deep space transports and that's the Mastodon for the Mimitar, the Akator for the Galente, the Bustard for the Kaldari and the Impel for the Amar. On paper they look really really good they have plus two warp strength they can fit a pretty good tank but they're so slow to align and to warp that if you get caught in a gate camp you're you're done you just lost your ship and all your uh, PI so um, not even that if somebody comes in a system and you're on the Poco you have to get you know into warp and get out quick um, with the deep space transport you really can't do that so really stay away from those guys I would really relegate those to high sec only if you have to you know if you're gonna spend the money high sec only I suppose I personally would still use a blockade runner um, just because you can warp cloak from gate to gate so stay the heck away from deep space transports um, each race has a blockade runner uh, the prowler for the Mimitar I prefer that one it's the quickest uh, then you have the Viator for the or Viator for the Galente and then you have the crane for the Kaldari and the prorator for the Amar I believe the prorator holds the most uh, don't quote me on that I'm not too sure but I believe it actually does but with the Mimitar with my cargo hold as is even with nanos and the rigs um, 4,600 or 4,062 and 3 I've never really picking up uh, PI have run out of room so um, I maxed out here right now just because I have these command centers in but I don't uh, you know, I, I think it's the perfect ship for PI and 00. 
if you don't want to put the train time in, the training time in for those, you could always use uh, Tech One Industrials. You know, use the quickest one you could find, put a cloak on it, and uh, just you know go to town. You can't warp cloaked, so you're going to show up on scan and everything with the blockade runners. The only time you're on scan is when you're interacting with the Pocos. Uh, special mention is the Epithal from the Galente line. Um, they, it actually gets a bonus to uh, holding planetary interaction commodities. So if you know you're gonna just go from planet to planet, picking up a bunch of you know raw materials, then that would be the one to go for. Um, but it, it suffers the same problem as the other um, the other industrials. It, it can't cloak. You can put a cloak on it. Um, and, you know, a pretty okay tank, I suppose, but you're not going to be able to cloak warp, and it's going to still be sl sl not as slow as, as the deep space transports, but still slower to turn and get into, get into warp. If you get caught in a gate camp, you're probably done in anything besides the blockade runners, um, industrial-wise, that is. So uh, that's going to be it for the explanations of the ships. If you have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to ask me in game, um, and you know I can help you out. I've been doing PI for a bit, so I know. A, I guess you could say I know a thing or two. Um, next up, we're actually going to talk about what to, uh, what what products to make, what commodities to make, what you can make even, and uh, what planets to actually look for uh, to make those those products, because not all planets are created equally in uh, EVE Online. So until next time, fly safe.